Apple has released another update for its mobile devices and this time this is iOS 14 and for my obsolete iPhone SE the size of this update is 2.14 GB. In this update Apple has introduced a whole new bunch of features and user experience improvements. Experts are calling this iOS 14 as a Android killer update. Because in this update, Apple has introduced all new widgets system that is redesigned for different kind of sizes like small, medium and large widgets that will allow you to customize your phone and your usability in different dimension. This update also polishes the experience of messaging, inclusion of several memojis inclusion of detailed direction for cycling and electric vehicles on maps, wireless communication system like NFC, Bluetooth, QR code scanning are now improved. Safari is much more faster than before. Siri is now more efficient with 20 times more information and the look is also different now for Siri response animation. Search is more precise and more elaborated now. You can customize your home screen with different kind of widgets, stacked widgets. You can redesign your home screen according to your taste, choice and usability. Now the weather forecast is also polished and more elaborated. It now shows minute by minute forecast. The AirPod using experience is now also polished and it is more dynamic in terms of notification, sound, experience and in other aspects. Privacy is not ignored in this update. Apple has worked on the privacy policy to make it more user friendly and it offers more privacy for your device. Accessibility is also now more elaborated and polished for better user experience. Apple Store, Apple Arcade is now more user friendly and more usable. For camera application, it is now more precise, more polished and for iPhone XS and XR, the photo mode is now a bit tweaked and improved. For few iPhones like iPhone 11, and iPhone 11 Pro, the night mode experience is better. The shots are more clear, more usable. There is an improvement in CarPlay system and FaceTime videos. Now on iPhone 10 and later, the video quality is now improved for 1080p resolution. For files, APFS encryption support for external drives. Health related applications are also polished and more elaborated international keyboard inclusion and their usability and inclusions are more user friendly and polished now if we go to apple's support page we can find all the updates released on the same date means on 16th of september 2020 on that 16th september 2020 apple has released safari 14.0 tvOS 14.0, watchOS 7.0, iOS 14 and iPadOS 14, iTunes for Windows 12.10.9, Xcode 12.0. All these updates were released just after the last release on September 1st, 2020. So this is a whole new bunch of offering with this iOS 14 by Apple. Now let me quickly get the update for my obsolete 2016 iPhone SE to avail all these facilities, all these features, all this improved user experience. Now you can see this is completely a new update process, uh, update procedure we need to follow because this is a huge update from Apple, a 2.14 GB for my 2016 obsolete iPhone SE. It will take some time. Let me fast forward this. Now you can see my 
2016 obsolete iPhone SE is updated to the latest version of iOS that is iOS 14. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, do comment, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then keep watching. Let's talk with Chandan. Have a nice one.